Come on, 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 come on. It's a big blue house. It's a big blue house. Except it's not blue. It's red. I didn't put product in my hair today, so it's like it's gonna be a big fizz fizz ball by the end of the day. It's gonna be a big fizz ball by the end of the day. So any hoozy, okay, we're gonna do my little rada. We're gonna do um what I do, I did earth, I did air. Let's do fire. Let's do fire. What are we gonna do? Let's do my sadness. I was gonna do Leo. So I'm gonna do my sadness. I'm feeling passion for you guys right now. Passionate about something. I got the goosebumps. I got the goosebumps. Woo wee! Woo wee! Going on my saggies. Going on my saggies. Oh boy, oh boy, a very divine, oh boy, oh wee, oh wee, a hot to hot conversation, let your friends help you, we have worth waiting for, okay, free yourself, give your relationship a chance, and honeymoon, this honeymoon to me, and romantic feelings at the bottom of the deck, this means to me you're not with this person, There's, or you are but this distance, okay. This is saying with the playfulness, this is saying go and recapture what it is that you used to have with somebody or go and recapture what it is that you know you can have with somebody brand new, okay? Um, this is worth waiting for. This is divine time and I at work, guys. This is a very divine connection right off the bat, okay? You're the first ones to get this. I, I, I know I felt something. We have a hat to hat conversation, okay? And this let your friends help you. You know how I usually feel about this let the, your friends help you, but sometimes um, this one can come out where it's like, it's not really sabotage, but sometimes it can be because sometimes they're, they're giving, you know, they think they're giving good advice, but it's really holding you back, all right? Um, you're dealing with free yourself and give your relationship a chance, so it's time to take control back over your life in, in whatever scenario you're in right now for this Venus spread, okay? Because, you know, it's saying work on your partnership, so this is... If you're with somebody, you guys are definitely going through a tough time, but they're saying, you know, work on it. This is some strong, you guys might even be Scorpio, some Scorp somewhere in your chart, some fixed sign, okay? Because this, this, um, I'm telling you right now, because the Venus, this Venus, it's in, it's, it's Libras and Taurus is going to get hit hard in Scorps. And you're a Sag, but I'm telling you. For who I'm, or I'm reading for, this is going to affect you. Somewhere in your chart, you have three of those real close to some some fact in your chart. There's no question. Okay. Um, what honeymoon here? This you know to me this is never like ooh wee going on a honeymoon. Now nah, this is there's some distance between you guys right now. Okay. Um, which would make sense with being right next to give your relationship a chance. Um, I haven't been clarifying these cards. I am going to clarify, let your friends help you, only because that could be a hit or a miss. But I will tell you what the universe is saying. This is this is worth it, okay? This is worth all the chaos, the everything you're going through right now could be heartache. I, I mean, I can feel it, okay? I can feel the chaos, the drama, and, and it, it's. I don't even feel like you feed off of it. I, I just think you, some of you are tired of shit. This is going to be a beautiful read, though, guys. I'm telling you, I feel it. And it's Buffalo Soldier. So to me, this is saying, you know, be that warrior, okay? Um, waiting on arrival. So let me just tell you um, how to prepare for this, let your friends help you type thing. Because to me, I don't know if you're hanging out with the wrong people, or if they're telling you something, you know, with the best intent. But... Yes, the two of swords reversed. Whatever you're listening to, see, this is what I was afraid of. Not that I was afraid of it, but this is, I, I knew I was, it's just how I read my cards, guys, okay? Um, it, it's it's new, you not really going in and making the, a decision, because, and it's reversed, okay? So uh, this would be like, oh, we're still having a hard time, all right? But this is like really being indecisive. And I'm telling you, if you don't nip this shit in the butt, the tower is going to come in and the universe is going to make this decision for you. Okay. Um, so whoever it is you're talking to about whatever situationship you're in right now, 
even if they have the best intent, it's not helping you. I don't know if you're staying stagnant. I don't know, but just be careful. You know, at the end of the day, it's about you and your happiness. Okay, say so for instance, say you have a friend and say for instance, I don't even know if this is the past, but I'm going to give you a scenario. Say, you know, you with somebody and this person hurt you and your best friends or whomever, a parent, regardless. So obviously, if you're going to talk about this person coming back around, obviously they're going to they're gonna give you shit or they're going to be like, I don't think it's the best idea because this person has hurt you. Okay, so anybody in the right mind is going to try to give you advice like that. And that's why I'm here because I think outside the box because when there's been growth in certain situations and there's been time and there's been distance between you, there's always growth sometimes depending on the scenario and the person, okay? So in all retrospect, of course, this person's going to be like, but in all reality, at the end of the day, what makes you happy? Who's sleeping with who? Who puts a smile on whose face at the end of the day when it's that type of connection? Okay. So what the universe is saying, have this conversation with this person. Take the time, put the effort in. It's worth it. Give it a chance. Free yourself from all the energy that you've been holding on to. Take your own energy back. Take control of your own scenario. This is a lot of influence on my board right here, okay? And I'm telling you, you're going to have a beautiful read. But I'm telling you right now, somebody's influencing your, your past, your future, okay? Remember at the end of the day, who's the most important? Now, it's a new moon energy. Some new moon energy for my stack because I feel it. I, whatever you have for this friend, it's beautiful. I can feel it. I just love the book. Like I said, yay, oh, yay, yay. So don't don't be indecisive. I just I just see that those swords, okay? Like only you can push through this. Okay. So move on energy. The massages. Massages. All right, we got the Queen of Pants. Okay, this is nurture yourself. Take care of you. Make your own decisions. Okay, you're you're more than capable. Okay. And they're saying, you know, take the stability that you have, the stability in your head, and, and take advantage of it, okay? Um, it also could be saying, you know, focus on work, focus on you right now, okay? It doesn't mean sit around and wait. It just says, you know, if you give this relationship a chance, it's going to be worth it, okay? But right now, we got a lot of hearsay, a lot, a lot of hearsay, okay? So... Got a lot of outside right now. We got the page of pens, and it's like, are we going to take this new opportunity that's given to us? But we don't know because what our time is for And I'm telling you, this is the end of this energy. Okay? This is coming to the end, especially with this moon. It's time to get rid of the old. Okay? And bring in the new. All right? So, but I'm telling you, if you're going to be indecisive about going towards this new, it's the reveal hard for you, the reveal hard month for you, okay, if you, if you choose to let other people choose what it is, your thoughts, okay, you got the ace of swords, so you want the truth, go speak the truth, there you go, the time from the ace, okay, but only you, only you can do that, once you make that decision, okay, to let somebody else not influence where you go next or your own thoughts influence okay but to me this is other people but don't let nobody influence your thoughts your thoughts, your thoughts okay I can feel the passion that you have for this person look at how I told you the passion that whatever you have with this person could be 
very spiritual or to me that she talks about you want a relationship with this you want a new staff you want to communicate with this person and if you are already with this person the universe is saying listen it's worth it give it a shot okay like speak from the heart speak the truth okay and keep going okay i understand some shit went down there's no question all right a magician i don't know if it's telling me that's so many if this is some sneaky stuff um but this is also to me, you know, this is, you're capable of, of doing this. You're going from the dark, you're going from the night, dark night of the soul to like the, to the light, to the pure again, okay? Um, with the night of swords of the so you're not talking to this person, but you, it looks like you guys are definitely going to come out of a conflict, but you're holding on to something. And I think you're holding on, you know, to the past or, or to really have a conversation, like, this is you really want to have a conversation with this person. So either this person's not coming towards you or you're not towards this person, vice versa. But you're not talking to this person. So, but I don't even think it was because of the tricky shit. I mean, it's a possibility and I know you guys are not together now, but you have to release whatever this is you're holding on to. Okay. Um, the, the two of you have feelings. This is a mutual thing, you know, at the bottom of the deck. All right, and, and right under that is to make that fit. All right, so I'm telling you, I can feel this love, but there's a lot of stuff hindering this love. And it has to do with the past. You have to let go of the past. You have to free yourself. You have to take control over the situation, over you, your life, your thoughts, in order for this to move forward. This is the time with the Queen of the Swords, cut off any bullshit. Okay? Because you want that, right? You want that ten of pence back. You want to feel stability again, right? All right. So, in order to feel that stability again, cut out what no longer serves you. Whether it's friendships, whether it's past things on the past, whatever it is that you're holding on to, you need to release. You absolutely need to release in order to come out of this mental conflict. And you are. I see it. But all down here is telling me because of what happened in the past. Because of the way you said and talked about, you're backtracking. You're flip flopping. You take a step forward, you're taking two steps back. You take two steps forward, you take a small step back. You know what I mean? So, tell me about this four pence. So, with the that, yeah, see, it's, you gotta let go of whatever happened. This is, see the light shining through? And I just talked about that with the magician. Tricky shit or not. I know what I'm saying in my past. I know what I'm talking about here. Okay, you gotta release it. You gotta let it go. Alright? There's just two of cups. You want this damn connection back because it was reversed. If you want this damn connection back, you gotta release. And for others, it's saying this, you know, you guys probably already went through the breakup. Alright, but if you want this back, like I said, you're not together with this honeymoon card. Like I said, of course, knows how to read her cards. Okay? This is what this is. This is time to release whatever it is that went on in that relationship. It's time to let go, have this conversation, and decide whether or not you're going to move forward. This is the energy. If you don't want to feel lonely anymore, nah, I wouldn't think so. You know, follow your destiny. Regardless of whatever anybody else thinks about this situation. Because at the end of the day, they're not you. Okay? So what this is telling me with this new moon energy, it's saying if you want to work on this relationship, you are more than capable of, of making it work. You just, you guys have to get out of the conflict, and you will. If you sit down, you act maturely, you don't let nobody else influence your thoughts, and you accept the past in order to move forward, okay? Super important with your new moon energy. Release the past to so move forward. Okay. To me, do I see somebody new coming in? No, I, I just I don't. Okay. I mean, I can and I can and I can't. To me, this is definitely talking of you know somebody from the past. Or if it's a fresh new feeling for somebody, this still has to have a past attached. Because it's really stressing. Release the X energy because you're clinging on to the past. Give the a chance. Have that hat to hat. Stop listening to other people. This is worth it. 
All right, put that evidence into it. Yeah, you guys are not together because of some tricky bullshit probably went on, but I'm telling you right now, whatever this is, is pure. I can feel it, regardless of the past. Now, if this is a scenario that just went down a few weeks ago, obviously not, ladies and gents. If this is something that's coming back around and it's been a good six months plus years, you're good, okay? But nurture yourself. Don't forget about you with this new moon energy. Don't forget to nurture yourself, please. So, for all of the next two weeks, for all of the see, see what you're looking at, huh? The world, see? Complete the shit for having a new beginning. All right, look at the passion here, too. The nurturing, okay? Right above the nurturing. You want to nurture it, like they're saying, give your relationship a chance. Nurture it, okay? Go after it. You won't have it. Don't, don't listen to other people. I'm telling you right now. This is some beautiful, beautiful stuff that you have. So it's the five of pencils of first. I like you coming out of it. Look what you guys can have again. If you, but right now we're holding on to Debbie. Let go of negative Nelly. Let go of Debbie Downer. Okay? And you get out of that energy. This is, but this is the end. This is the end of this feeling lonely. This is the end of feeling like you're not good enough. This is the end of that type of situation. Okay, so that's beautiful. And then you have that eight right there too. Okay, so what do we got here? All right, so we've got the nine of ones. This is taking action and having a, a brain like that. All right, this is, the, but this kind of talks about somebody you've already been with too. Okay, um, and really getting caught up for the moment, like really enjoying each other's company and get lost. All right, don't get too lost. But yeah, it is fun to have that type of connection back. Okay. So, and it is hard to open up and feel that again, but you can if you put the effort in, okay? You got the lovers, all right? So, it's a decision you got to make because it definitely looks like there's hopefully another person involved, okay? Um, but to me, this is also saying don't think that one's better than the other because I'm telling you right now, we have one that's insecure and we've got one that's like, I'll give it, I'll give it your all, okay? Like, nobody, I'm telling you, this is this is you guys being Debbie, okay? Am I good enough with this that? Don't do that. All right, whatever happened in the past, whatever happened in the past, I'm telling you, in this scenario to work, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you have to, okay? There has to have been growth. And I know that because she's looking over here. This is you. This could literally be you as the same person. Okay, and looking over and saying, can I do this again? Am I, am I capable of giving this type of love? Am I, am I capable of recapturing this? Am, am I capable of letting go of this worry? Okay, letting go of feeling left out in the cold. Okay, I'm telling you, you can be. I'm also telling you right now, and I'm stressing, there has to have been growth between the two of you here. This is not something that just happened a couple of months ago, and we're going to get back into it. That's the negative. What else? What else? What else? So we got the two of pens. So this is this is you know again you being apprehensive, letting letting fear cloud your judgment, making your decision, and this is why you're not making one. Not to mention outside influences. Okay, this is having a little bit of fear to to touch to touch this person again, to feel this person again. This is. This is fear, but look at it. Push through it. No matter the gender, push through this. Okay? Make the effort, guys. I, I can't stress it enough to you right now. I can feel this love, regardless of what somebody else is saying to you about something. Okay? So don't don't sit with this for too long. You want that reason? Put the time and energy into that. Look at that big cup of love. Oh, this is chalices. All right, this is the Ace of Cups. I told you. Look at that love. Look how giant that cup is, guys. It looks like a cherry on top, too. <laughs> All right, like, that's what I'm saying. Don't let nobody else influence this. This is gorgeous. Look at the, the star on her forehead, like, like Wonder Woman. You know, like, warrior. I'm telling you, this is how, this is how much love there is here. Um, I don't like all this outside influence. I, I truly don't. It's bothering me. All right, 
look at that reconciliation be a chalice if you want that you gotta nurture you gotta nurture yourself you, you gotta feel like you can do this okay seven of wands talk about it with this person instead of putting your guard up talk about it look at the love I can't I can't stress this enough to you guys. Okay, the love, the passion, the desire. You have somebody on the outside um, influencing this decision, unfortunately. Okay, you you have to step forward and get yourself out of this energy. All right, Just talk to this person. Don't put your guard up. Let your guard down. Okay, beautiful cards. It's not even showing me the path like that. Okay, because this is not what's important right now. It is time to move on. That's how I be. Okay, you guys know that. So it's on you, my little Sagittarius guy. I'm telling you, this is some love. I understand. It's the decision, okay? And you're feeling lonely or left out, however you want. I already sent all this to you. If you want a piece of the end of the day, go after it. All right, free free yourself, your own energy. Sagittarius, my Sagittarius. This is on you guys. I really hope you make the right decision. Okay. You got too full of happiness. If you want happy, go after it. If you're not happy right now because this is your last. I am aware that being happy means I'm on the right path, but but you're not. You're not. Why? Outside influence. Surrender. Don't don't try to control it. Free yourself too. You're holding on to the feelings right now. Okay. Let them out. Let them go. Go after this love. I just got the goosebumps. This love is, is, is beautiful. It's, it's precious. It's instead of, like I said, instead of letting, instead of having your dad up, go talk to the same person. The amount of love, and you're fearing, you're fearing it, but the amount of love, you're fearing, fearing this person's touch, and, I mean, I have Sag in my Vedic, but I, I know what this is saying. I know has it's, I, I know what it's like to fear that type of touch. This is what you guys have, okay? You have that. It's good. It's unfortunate that, um, Somebody's influencing it right now. I don't feel it. I don't feel it as an intentional thing, though. Okay? And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I, I'm not feeling the intentional don't go after that or I'm not. Okay? You might, this doesn't want to split, honestly. Be, yeah, and Eric, go ground yourselves. Be honest with yourselves. Okay? If somebody is holding you back, it's saying just wait. I, I don't know why, but to me, don't don't you dare. I think you waited too long. Don't you dare wait this long. Be foolish. Sad. I felt it from the beginning. I'm not playing with you. Like don't you dare. And at the bottom of the deck, you got play. This this is the universe saying go play. Don't hold back. Go play and have fun with your damn life. And then you got individuality, okay? I'll be that first, and then you grow. So, this individuality is just being you and not being influenced, is what this is to me. Choosing the symbol is important. I mean, mind you, to reflect on your own unique qualities. Also, remind you not to compare yourself to others. This is a fluid access because it's not one is the same than the other. Not one beauty is less or greater than anyone else's. Others may seem happy doing things a certain way, and you feel like you're compromising yourself to fit. Don't. People will love you for who you are. Your task here is to only be yourself. This is a powerful sign. You're able to do it with a magician. Um, you can do it, okay? You have it in you to, to be your own person and not let somebody else affect your thoughts because this love, this love is um, 
pretty damn powerful. Now it's time to apologize to anyone you've come to or make friends whole again. By choosing healing over anger or pain, choosing my beautiful growth is a powerful sign that I had a wanted a strong time in your life. Show compassion and kindness to others. No one is perfect, yet imperfection is what it is. It is hurt. If you're hurting right now, I will pass out will watch over you. If someone you love is hurting at this time, therefore go to this person. The sacred growth heals all aches and pains, especially not that it's been wounded. So it's saying, yeah, we're, we're clinging on to the past and past thoughts. We know you've been hurt, but if you follow your happiness and release the control of whatever this is that's holding you back, and you go towards this person that you truly love, you're going to find happiness, and true love, and purity, and serenity, and synergy. I'm telling you, this is a rough read, and the Taurus and Libra have beautiful reads. More Taurus and Libra. But um, I'm going to tell you right now, this has been my favorite read of the day, as hard as this is going to be, because this love. Is so pure. It'd be a shame if you let it go. This is a tough read for me, guys, because you don't get those type of love. I don't even know anyone that's, that's a savage. I'm trying to think if I can place this with anybody I know. I don't. Um, but I feel it. And I don't want, I don't even know what that stuff go with. Yeah, you felt stuck in the back by this person or vice versa, but, um, are you holding back and being inside you? You stop in your own happiness, you know. But this is a lesson right now, so it's a it's a lesson that needs to be learned. Okay, you know, you can learn it. Okay, and, and figure this out. But the universe is saying this is this is worth it. All right, go play. Have this have a hot conversation. Stop letting other people influence you. Okay, it, it, it's time for you to let go of control. Whatever it is you're trying to control, whatever the scenario. Okay, it's time to let go and, and give this relationship a chance. There's too much sense between the two of you right now. Go make that effort. The two of you have feelings. All right? Go make that effort. Stay optimistic. Okay? Surrender whatever it is that's holding you back. Release this energy. Okay? Like, it's safe. Like, surrender. Let it, let it go. And stop listening to whoever it is that's stopping you from being happy. Whether it's you or somebody else. But I definitely feel outside of things. It's just no question. 100% outside of things. Whether they're doing it intentionally or not. I'm not really feeling bad in but um, some could just be looking out for you because they could be playing. If you say it's a parent, it could be mama bear. All right, and I'll be thinking you deserve X, Y, Z. But at the end of the day, is that a person for you? Or this could be your best friends. All right, same thing looking out for you. But at the end of the day, does this person make you happy? The way this person makes you happy. But, I mean, this love that I feel is just pure. I don't have any other words for it. 